right here on LA Talk Radio. What's up everybody? I'm your host Jared Zavostowski and you're listening to and watching Modern Mail Radio. This is all the stuff your mama should have told you and the stuff your daddy never knew. And joining me tonight again my special guest co-host uh, Leah Polka Hi, is back. Thanks for having me. And special guest Nikki Lee. Hi guys. You guys Hi. are like the Magic Magic Twins right now. Hey y'all. We, we were yeah. just talking about that. It's fantastic. <laughs> the and 90s we, are back. I know. And so what is excited. his name? This is Cody. Cody, Cody the stud. Cody the stud. <laughs> stud Cody. Who has his own Instagram, actually. It's, it's quite ridiculous, yeah. but it's true. He's got his own in- <laughs> Instagram. And she sent me uh, his Instagram handle so I could check the dog out to see if he was okay to be on the show. Like... <laughs> My dog That's is so really good cute. looking it's that like you should probably feature like him too. She's a momager. Yeah. <laughs> How cute is that? Like, did you see that? That's the thing. That's hilarious. Totally. So, Nikki, momager. tell us about yourself. Um, you're you're hosting, you're acting, and you used to have a radio show. We just found this out like two seconds ago. Yeah. So th- I feel good to be back here, you guys. Yeah, back in the mix. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Started out with a radio show, Sirius XM, uh, for a couple years, and that kind of made me have the transition out to LA. I was I'm born and raised Orange County. Um, from there, I kind of just fell into the industry of modeling and acting, and acting has been the real driver of my career right now. Cool. Yeah. It's your passion. Cool. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Anybody I you want. You go, girl. You go. <laughs> cool. So, and you've been on uh, a whole bunch of new projects lately. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, recently, I just, I don't know how much I can say about things, but I just wrapped a movie where I was the lead, and I'm super excited. Cool. Hopefully, Congratulations. Thank you. That's wonderful. Hopefully, uh, we have a great cast, too. Uh, that's why I'm just not sure how much I can say. Um, I also just wrapped <laughs> not too long ago. Do you guys know the movie Chocolate City? Uh uh-uh. Okay. No. It's kind of a good movie, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about this, but there. But it's kind of like uh, I'm not racist. Uh, sounds like black, a bad a black magic might. Oh, okay. It's like okay. really rad. I was like gonna Tyrese say it sounds Beckford, like an adult film, like but Tyrese <laughs> Beckford was in it, and okay. like okay. yeah, and Genuine's in this one, and this one's like set in Vegas, and um, they just did the screening of it, so it's gonna come out like later this year, so that's kind of cool. Like I'm. Did you see how serious it. my face got? I was like, okay. It's kind of kind of rad. Because I got my attention. This, okay. They go into this competition, right? Of like all these different ethnicities of groups of, that dance, so mm-hmm. like Asian, you know, right. everyone, and it's like amazing. No, oh, wow. Like, it's That's really great. entertaining. I had to leave the set because I was like, I can't. I can't. I was Uh-oh. like, I'll just watch Uh-oh. it on the movie with everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That had much. to have been fun, though. It was so much fun because I was the host of the competition. So I really um, channeled, like, uh, gosh, what's her name on Pitch Perfect Banks? Elizabeth Banks. Like, you know, her, like, very, like, corny, white um, mm-hmm. guest. Bubbly. Yeah, Cute. bubbly. It was really fun. So I'm a complete, like, comedic relief in it. So it really nice. was cool to be able to have you know bring something else to the table where yeah, everything else yeah. is kind of sexy bring up the sexual tension yeah yeah I'm nice. all, oh, <laughs> that's funny i used to dance a little bit myself Ooh, get it <laughs> <laughs> not on the show yeah you go, uh, if, actually if you were blind uh we had lexi pantera on here who's like the the, the woman who's famous for going viral for twerking and I tried oh, to God. bait her into a twerk off. She wasn't having it, so I just took it and I was like, "Did she set I'm sorry, that? Sorry, I missed that. Did, did she set that up? No, no, no. I wanted to set it up. She was just like, "Nah, I don't want it." Um, okay. But uh, I, and we did do a little bit of twerking on the episode with uh, we had the Hollywood men on, uh, and they were talking about what they did the training for Magic Mike. Uh, yeah, sorry. and I did a little twerk out, and they offered me a job. They were like, "Hey, if you want to go uh, do you know Hollywood men thing," I was. They're like, "You're hired. We'll like do a it." Tour. No, they were just oh. like, a, like a guest appearance. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All yeah. Right. So, so you career can options, so right? You career can twerk. for your share, Jared. You should put that on your resume. I can twerk, right. yeah. Because clearly it gets you famous. I don't know. Right? Like, <laughs> twerking's a thing now. A little bit. I should have, yeah, it should have been twerking straight into acting, and then maybe I'd be Channing Tatum, you know? A little man, bit. Man, that guy can move and act yeah. and do Also from Alabama. You're shoot, welcome. Man. You, are you from <laughs> Alabama? Hello. Oh, I, I am. Love it. I yeah, know. I cannot dance as good as Channing, but uh, you know, I, I I do. I have some moves for white boy, you know. 
Okay. Can okay. Move on. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> One day we'll take you up on that offer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> or and we're videoed, like, so this is gonna be awesome. Yeah. Right. You just gotta get it. Um. So. We're, we, so we, we like to talk about dating. We have There's so many different things um, when it comes to the world of dating. And you're, you're in the spotlight a lot. You're constantly out at events. I see your photos everywhere. Mm-hmm. So you've got to tell me, what, so what do, you, um, what do you most like about that in terms of how guys approach you? And what do you most dislike about that in terms of how guys approach you? Oh, my gosh. That's a great question. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I like – it's like something I haven't thought about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like uh, – I like that it kind of – I don't know. Guys don't kind of have their guard up a little bit more, mm-hmm. and they kind, you know, they approach me kinder. Like it just depends on your hierarchy, I guess, in the world. To be honest, yeah. yeah, more reserved with me. So I appreciate that. Um, and they kind of put me on a pedestal sometimes, which I'm like, hi down there. <laughs> 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 I'm, just I'm just kidding. But uh, I don't know. I like how I can. I can just kind of do anything almost. And I feel like I have a power control, mm-hmm. which is really nice and refreshing in this day and age too. Um, so that's really nice. But at the same time, everyone that I take a picture with or this or that, or, you know, it's like I'm blasted out and, or like I took a picture with somebody and I guess I just heard that, you know, I, I'm like dating them and I'm like, I just met them one time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right, <laughs> like, right. Calm down. You right. know, like, Everybody's waiting but for you to make the next move. Yeah. Th- something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, been single for like two and a half years. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know. It has yeah. to take hey. a special guy to change it, which <laughs> yeah. I think it could definitely happen. I'm ready. Almost. Just about. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> I got super interested just now. I, I was like, you were saying. I'm like, kind of. Yeah. Two yeah. and a half years. I'm, cut. Yeah. I'm. What it would just, change it? What would change it? Like what? What? What would bring well, like what's what would be new and change it? It just has to be someone who's kind and respectful of me and not forceful and um, a gentleman. Like, it, I just don't feel like there's many gentlemen here in L.A. Sorry, L.A. dudes. Like, they're just yeah. they're not. They're just very I don't know. They think they're poop. Don't stay. Well, you bring up a really <laughs> interesting point, because um, I was talking with somebody about this the other day. And there's the dichotomy where it's like you've got the fuck boy thing. But then mm-hmm. you've got if you overdo chivalry and you're overly gentlemanly. I forget who I was talking Take to. Take advantage of maybe. She she had met some guy on Tinder, uh-huh, uh-huh. and they had set up a date, and <laughs> and you know like that. she she thought she liked him or whatnot, and then she I guess somewhere along the way she just kind of decided she didn't, but they'd already set up the date, mm-hmm. and he sent f- a box of flowers to her office, oh. which is sweet, but then again she's like whoa so like I I really kind of wasn't into this guy, and then he sent the flowers, and it just like killed it for me. This is like too over the top, and I was killed like, it. It, there there is a what thing with think? that with with think? males. <laughs> that, that I, think I mean I, well here's the thing i can see it both ways i can see someone who maybe isn't ready for like a super commitment just yet mm-hmm. you know some females right. aren't ready for that type of commitment just yet some females are a little bit older and they're like no i know what i want and yeah. i'm glad that he's also expressing that he knows what he wants yeah. so i think that i mean i think it just depends on where a girl is in her path That's That's so, so true. what 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 where the guy failed uh, i don't i don't think it has to do with the girl maybe not whatsoever i think where it failed is he wasn't reading the situation correctly mm-hmm. and he did too much too soon a little bit too soon i'm not saying sending yeah. flowers is something that's bad right i used to have a really really Good. tricky thing where, where when i really liked a girl and i was kind of because this this would happen and it was weird because it kept happening right. so i would I'd meet a girl we'd go out on a date or something i really really liked her i knew she really really liked me and then she'd get you know like, or like she'd get flu or something mm-hmm. or whatever I, I would send, I would ask her for her address and I would send soup to her mm, house, like nice. Thai soup. I like that. Yeah. So it'd be that's like, nice. like, it's super, super I'll let you know when cute. I'm sick next time. Right. Please do. Please do. I will definitely send you <laughs> right. soup. Right. Um, I feel the cold coming on. <laughs> right. But, you know, having ne- not established that connection where you mm. could do that, where you, you felt comfortable going, she's going to take this as sweet. Asking right, a girl for her address, being like, I really, really like you. And I, you know, I just totally want to be with you and da, 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 da. But, yeah, you know, I can he, get crazy. He's like an eager puppy. Sure. And he's like. Whoa, roses, blah. Yeah, <laughs> right. just like that. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I mean, like, how did he know the address to our work, things like that? But I don't know. Mm. Right. I, I think again, it just depends on where you, know, you where, are. Yeah, I where you are in path. Because I see, like, I see you. You want to be like, I don't know, but I think that maybe you're ready and you know exactly what you want. And mm-hmm. if you're into that guy, yes. Yeah. But I think he's saying that this guy, this guy in particular was misreading what she was saying because right. she was well, like i she don't know yeah it, right right. She right was just they were loosey goosey dating well and it's tinder and like who Yikes. knows anymore honestly mm-hmm. right. like yeah. i actually just had a conversation today at lunch and it was about something oh 
my friend went on a date with this girl and it was our first date and she started getting a little drunk right and she right. started telling him you know i just want to be a stay-at-home mom with like five kids <laughs> and, and he's like whoa hashtag michelle duggar <laughs> I was like, oh my god what right. so some girls are crazy like that and they you know i don't know some guys appreciate the forwardness and too much some too other soon. but that is way too crazy right right for, well too much too state. soon like I yeah. mean, that's, you have to that's you have to lot. you have to understand the situation. You have to have read the indicators of interest. Now, she she true. actually likes you, and that you're feeling yeah. it, and there's something there. Right, and I, it may be true on the inside. Just hold on to that and, information. Yeah. And they, you know, like we it's, ask. It's yeah. mostly yeah. a that's nice guy problem. So, right. Yeah. So you don't really get this with the with the bad boys, the fuck boys, or whatever, because they don't give a shit. So it, that, that's why right. girls kind of end up in those relationships with them. Right. Oh. Oh my gosh. So yeah. much. So yeah. the new, so the nice guy, he's over here, and the he really chase. likes her, and right. he's 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 afraid that he's going to lose her. So mm. he smothers her yeah, and he, right. and, and he's so, um, you know, concerned with her validation and her, you know, kind mm-hmm. of approval subconsciously. Mm-hmm. But he starts to like, <gasps> and freak yeah. out. And he's like, Oh, I got to give her roses and this and that. Right. And that. And yeah, I had a guy who it was the sweetest thing. Uh, on our first date, he brought me one single rose. And that's what I would do and on a date. Next yeah. thing, nice. And then the next modern show, like every, right. yeah, every date he would bring me one rose <clears throat> and like, it was really sweet. Yeah. And I don't, we actually got up to like 12 days right and he gave me a dozen <laughs> roses oh, and i was nice. like ah. so oh wow that was yeah that's really good cute. and i wasn't even keeping track like i wasn't that's know, a just he's a nice guy yeah. but not overzealous like exactly. just working way too hard yeah so yeah. i really appreciated that and it was subtlety romantic and, yeah. right and it's right. him presenting it as opposed to like all of a sudden some, some showing up at your doorstep yep. or at your work and you're like how did you know that's what you yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah that's what you call a drip campaign no, you do something yeah, subtle, is, yeah. and you slowly but surely build up into go. a momentum. And it's it's actually he a did well technique. the drip campaign. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Okay. Oh, there's a there's oh a God. there's a that's dirty in you and no coming. We're calling it these days, ladies and gentlemen. If you listen, if you listen to me, those happen all the time. Damn. That's good. That's good. Yeah, it's fun. It makes for entertaining radio <laughs> slash video. Hello. We can see everybody turning their shades of of red. Um. So what what's so. We covered um, what you like, but what what don't you like? What what don't you like about? I hate when someone needs to know what I'm doing what all the time. I hate mm. I hate feeling like I have to report to somebody. I want yeah. like in my opinion, the best relationship is a trusting relationship, and I feel like you need to build a foundation based on trust. Yeah. And trust is really hard to build out here, mm-hmm. and like and with having it be true, you know, yeah. like you can right. trust anybody, but have it be to where I could not worry about him and or right. he not worry about me. I think that is very rare but when you mm. find that i think that's so strong and that's what really builds something i don't know i've never really needed uh i i, I well, and from my perspective it's uh-huh. never been hard to be in a trusting relationship because uh, but my perspective uh-huh. is i've always been 100 percent trying to do the best job i can at being me which has always kept girls you know it's yes, like i'm not worried about that very very that's important. why yeah, yeah. Doing that's the why i'm the water man <laughs> right yeah, <laughs> yeah. those guys are struggling to get to that point which is why there need yeah. to be more guys who are like that yeah. i can't i can't absolutely will not i can't stand it'll be it's an absolute deal breaker if i have the opposite like if a girl's always needs to know where i am or always needs mm-hmm, to communicate mm-hmm, with me mm-hmm. i'm like fuck that's off. what i'm saying yeah. that's what i'm saying i right. can't like text you all the time or, or be on call like this isn't a job Insecurity yeah. is way it's, too yeah, strong i yeah. would love to like reach out with you when i need to or when i want to and or vice versa but not expect something you know not be oh she didn't text back in five minutes yeah. like what are you doing and yeah. some people get crazy like one text and then you don't answer for 10 minutes because you're working you're doing something because we all have lives thank goodness you know yeah. it's like all of a sudden <laughs> it's like beep, 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 like more it's like what oh that cool huh or this like, yeah. you know, like, like, oh, what? yeah you should be an enhancement in my life and like make me happy it that, should be something exactly. where it's like when it's, should, a, it's exciting mm-hmm. to talk to you because exactly. here's the thing with with all the social media and all the texting and phone calls like it's so easy to talk to someone and stay connected it's like it's yeah. hard to disconnect it's hard so when you mm. have that space and time between one another it's like it still keeps that romance alive mm-hmm. you're still yeah that i game. love yeah. being excited yes. and it's funny yes. even when i'm not with a girl Butterfly. if like yeah. if 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 you know a day or two goes by and we haven't talked yet i start getting more and more excited but yeah. i also right. my mind is on them now so now i'm thinking like True. Ooh, what can i do to like surprise her the next I time i see you. her yeah True. thinking it's about romantic you. things i'm not thinking about romantic shit when i'm texting you all day right you yeah. have to give me time to be like 
oh well maybe maybe she's what busy, is she you doing? know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let, let's see and yeah and it's nice because then when you check in she she'll have the text from you that you she hasn't heard from you in a while and she's gonna be excited about it and that's yeah. just gonna make everything right. stronger yeah. right i think so as well yeah yeah, I mean, I mean, I like that. I think that there's like a little bit more mystery, you know what I mean? And you then I think you get to. time to to know one another and and to think about things and to be thoughtful with what you say. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah. certainly. I, I, I it just breathe. Everything needs to breathe. Your skin needs yeah. to breathe. Your everything right. needs to yeah. breathe. Everything in moderation too. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. And if you consistently like, I've even done this before, where I've over kind of over gifted and over mm-hmm. over made a, a surprise or done, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's like at some point you have to you have to. There has to be brevity between your surprises or your or right. your gifts or your mm-hmm. you know your gestures so that they mean more. We yeah. should do like a oh. codependence yeah. kills campaign. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's just a horrible. Well, like, that's relationship homicide. And that's a <laughs> that you are so good at that. Um, <laughs> just funny. coming up with these great. I know. Great I'm like, should we start writing this down? Like, <laughs> we should have a board. Like a clear board Aww. and start writing stuff up. We're going I mean, to. Like when you become quoted, like to. you become yeah. like at a certain level in like life when people want to quote you. That's girlfriend. exciting. <laughs> well, now we we've got it. We've got it on the, on camera. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, and you bring up a really interesting point: codependency. When both parties are attached to each other and kind of needy and and mm-hmm. it's just oh god, it's it's, it's overwhelming. Hashtag yeah. stressful. <laughs> Not well, life goal. It, right. the, the key of it is in the word. You know, it's dependency. Right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not. Have to be independent they don't have their own lives, and they don't have their own things that are making them grow and build as human beings. Mm-hmm. So they're dependent on each other for how they make each other feel, yeah. for their own uh, self worth and self validation. Mm-hmm. I want right. a cheerleader. Like I want someone to like be like go you and supportive when right. I need them and just always and I know that they're there, but they don't have to like be right on me or you know relying on right. me to All give up them updates yeah, like, <laughs> right, I, mean, I got time for that yeah i i really love to have a cheerleader and that's what i want to be for someone else like i want to have somebody who's very independent right. because if you love yourself and you're so strong within yourself and you believe in what you're doing that is what attracts other people yeah. and you can't be in a relationship a, a successful relationship until that happens like, yeah. right i that's, agree that's why i was like single for so long and just because i was like i need to find me i need to love me i need to be happy and strong by myself and that's when you know things start attracting and right. you attract no, the right people and yeah you attract I know, what you I know. Need. Yeah. yeah like especially you because you maybe don't want to tell everyone you're dating someone immediately you don't want an instagram sure. relationship so mm-hmm. you don't want yeah how long is the trial happen? period yes, yeah <laughs> i mean i don't know honestly like like i'm saying like someone puts a picture of and it's like i'm already like married like, yeah <laughs> like, whoa. Like, and, yeah I mean, and i'm pregnant you're like and whoa, then, whoa. you know what people do i'm not even kidding you if there's like a picture and it kind of happened recently where it's like uh, there was a picture out of me with somebody and then there was a picture of me with someone else. Like I have friends everywhere, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And, and a lot of male friends because right. lo- I'm a guy's girl. I love that. Yeah. And and I get it and I respect it. And the conversations are so much funnier. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like if I, you know, I have people like going around on, on Snapchat and stuff like trying to blast me out. So we'll literally take a picture of me or something and, you know, snap the person they think I'm dating and that they support and or that they have a crush on or something and oh, be like, wow. oh, you know that Nikki's with like someone she used to date or da da da. And Uh-oh. it just becomes this whole like. They start smashing gossip, your name together and, in a hashtag. Yeah, and You're like, like, wait a minute. I'm like, jeez, this is crazy. Wow. I'm like, you have no life. Yeah. Like, get <laughs> right. a life. Like, yeah, but seriously. it's crazy because the amount of people that don't have lives, you know, are, it's it's there's so many of them, and they're you know all on oh, social media kind of talking. Is, and I believe you've achieved a level but of success when you that, have that many haters. Do you oh, know? Yeah, yeah, but that allows. Girl, congratulations! It's crazy because if those people work, didn't have though. lives, right. you we wouldn't. Have, I mean, people are making money off their Instagrams now. I oh, mean, 100%, 100%. So it's like you know, I we always she talk like, about. Like she pets her dog like an evil genius, as she's like, oh, we're 100. percent Yes. I am one of those people. So it's almost Ma. a good thing. It's like, yeah, keep 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 you liking know, those pages. That'll work. <laughs> it just became convenient. Yeah, I was, yeah. That was very Dr. Evil of you. I'm very proud. Like, <laughs> who are the things I do when I'm not aware? Well, I'm glad you two get along. <laughs> yeah, she's freaking awesome. Yeah, this is great. Thank you. Yin and Yang, brunette blonde, got it. I like it. So, <laughs> do you, I mean, obviously, like we're talking right now, um, people have misconceptions of you all the time. 
Very true. Yeah. Th- okay. Can I? I'm just gonna put this Go out for there. It. I do, I'm not a porn star. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have. There's so many freaking like. Oh, she's on. You know, X-rated this and that, and then they start talking crap on other people's feed if there's a picture of me. Like, I'm oh, wow. not. Get over. Like, stop, please. Like, I mean, please. I'm gonna put this out there too. <laughs> I, I just talked to you. I think there is a porn a star named Nikki Lee though. If she, if what? then go her. If so, oh. but other than that, it's not me. <laughs> or something, Lee. Yeah. I talked to you for like a solid 10, 15 minutes before we start the show. Yeah. She's exactly like this in person. Yeah, like I have to be honest with you. Like there's no, there, like you. There's no facade. Did, right. Yeah. yeah. You're very much who you say you are. Thank you. There's yeah. no representative. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah. yeah. I, that. Well, that's one thing that I really I. I'm thankful that, you know, LA hasn't changed me in any certain right. way. Like, I've been, I, at mm-hmm. least from what I've Very Nicki Minaj. Well, well no, you know what's funny? <laughs> right, no, now I'm like, <laughs> People talk I'm about I'm LA changing them. And the thing is, California <clears throat> it is natives. Very true, though. California uh, oh. natives tend to be very, very cool, down to earth people. Right, right. I've met so many people that grew up here, they were born here, raised here, and they're just cool as fuck. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You've wait, mentioned wait. before Represent. beautiful people come here, though. I feel like people come yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Prove, exactly. And it's those, ego, all, those aren't all LA natives. So it's not LA. It's that somebody at some fucking high school in the middle of the Bible Belt was told that they were the prettiest princess <laughs> Wait, in the room. Wait, just a minute. Like, <laughs> well, uh, upper, upper, like, upper, upper, like, upper Bible Belt. Okay, uh, okay, fair enough. And, you know, they were told so that they were pretty tacky, and they should, like, they're great and da-da-da. And they were probably, you know, who says that so they were true. the best people? They were the so hottest true. thing. So they probably didn't, they think their their shit doesn't stink. And, you know, no self-development whatsoever. Right. And then they move to this big city thinking that they're going to be the shit. They're going to yeah. be a star. True. And they realize that they are not as good looking as they, they thought they were. <laughs> they were a big fish yeah. in a small pond. And now, now they're, they're, they're a small fish now in a big pond. Now they're like plankton in the ocean. Yeah. Like they're exactly. really like nothing. Like, yeah, plankton. I, mean, no. <laughs> so I don't know why I got a visual of like a little shrimp or something. <laughs> it's like the shrimp, uh, shrimp that shrimp eat. They're like uh, plankton. No. Yeah, microscopic. Yeah, microscopic. Right. Yeah, I was trying to go for small. The creel. Yeah, the creel. And then with the yeah. creel, I was like, it's not plankton, it's creel. I had to think about it for Whatever, it's all of it. I, I think know. it's the same thing. Small. But <laughs> Yeah. No. This so guy like is biology. amazing. And I, I, it hurts people. You know, it, it hurts their ego. All of a sudden they're like, it oh, does. my God, they're destroyed. And then they put up this facade of like fakeness. Like, how should I be? How yeah. should I act? Oh my What's God. the key right. to success? Mm-hmm. And it's like. The key to success is being authentic and real. Being well, yourself. and they try and be exactly, and they try and be something else, and everyone's getting all this plastic surgery, and like mm, you know, right. and they're all starting to look the same. Like, yeah. sorry, right. super right. cat face. Are, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. like y'all aren't gonna get no awesome job or get discovered because y'all look the same. Right. Yeah. A lot of people are afraid to be authentic. I think they're afraid to not look the exact Well, I mean, in that case, I mean, if you're just self. ugly, I mean, if you come out here and you're just ugly and you're surrounded by all these pretty people and you want to get some plastic surgery, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. But for acting, I don't think that it, it's a, it's no, a smart because, move. No, right. not at all, because yeah. th- you need someone for every role. Yeah. And right. like, you know, look at, I mean, I, I'm not even going to say a- Amy Schumer's not ugly. But like, look, she didn't Agreed. go get a bunch of lipo and da 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 da, da or you it's know, or point. anything like that. You know what I mean? It's like everyone, or a great example, Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. She is she's amazing. On fire. Yeah. Like, she amazing. is. She's the shit, and she's the sweetest person ever. She's I amazing, like was yeah. just able to meet her. She has the new movie, The Boss, which is actually really funny, and um, she. It was just amazing to see somebody who's just authentically herself yeah and and look at how many people like flock to her and look actually at her graham the sports illustrated cover now she oh, yeah oh yeah that you you're right I mean? you're right so it's like it's very so popular now it's becoming to be more a topic it's more unique it's mm. more you are you no one else can be you yeah you know? right. and yeah. that's Absolutely. what that's what stardom is is the uniqueness of you honestly. well and then, you know and then there's another point that like we, we made last week that the uniqueness of you and you might not be likable or developed whatsoever true. <laughs> yeah true. um but I mean, there's a lot of even comedians and whatnot that aren't very likable because of what they say and they bash people. But at the same time, if you stick to your guns and you stick to that's who you are, then people start recognizing you for you and they start appreciating you just being like, well, that's just what he or she yeah. says. And you know right. what? And I I'm not going to amen yeah. because that's, cool. that's, that's to each their own. That's yours. Like right. no yeah. one's going to do right. that. Can't take it away. I, I, yeah, I develop a personality and fall in love with yourself. I think are are, are the points that we're all going for here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but it's like as we're talking, the more I'm thinking about, it, I'm like, huh. So could people get plastic surgery, and I'm going through my head, and I'm like, who do I know? You know, like people that I know that would like do that. And I'm like, oh, you mean like the really like kind of ah uh, whatever girls that like don't There's really know what they're that. talking about. That's and the main uh, one. <laughs> it's just like, and it's like, so t- telling them to be them. It's like, well, like I don't really know who I am or like what I should do, and it's like. Self-awareness you- is very, it's rare and it right. is a gift, yeah. honestly. Yeah, yeah, Self-awareness yeah. is, that's what 
you know, sets you apart from the rest. Where are you from? Orange County. Orange County? Yeah. See, I feel like that's, that's like what separates also, uh, animals from humans. Yeah. Self awareness. I feel like that's I feel like that's a different area too. I feel like when you come from Orange County, it's like look at yourself like you're way more reserved and it's like that's just your philosophy as well you know what i mean and when you come here it's you, you still think it's stay. an OC, OC thing yeah i do i do like look at lauren conrad and stuff she's also like from orange county what? Mm-hmm. yeah i don't know who it is what? Okay, <laughs> i don't well, know she, yeah but i feel like i feel like yeah i feel like that's an orange I county you. thing because last week those girls were from orange county as well and they like reserved guys as well mm. it's a thing oh wait the ones we had the, on the show yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 they were super cool right. um yeah it's, it's just like there's, I mean, I guess there's a, everywhere there's competition, you know, but mm-hmm. this, it's a, how you approach it and how and, you see it. And, and this is kind of, so it. this kind of brings us to why LA guys are the way they are. Because suddenly all of these, you know, good looking guys from these great towns, from these towns all over the right. world moved in and they're all great looking. Mm-hmm. All these great looking girls moved in mm-hmm. and it, it gives this false sense of like just options. Like, you mm-hmm. know, it's like there's so like many beautiful, too many options, so many beautiful people. So then you got these guys that are like, you know, guys don't multitask really well. Anyways, we're not really known for our ability to, to juggle, you know, more than one thing. So we're we're kind of like, oh, well, next one up, next one up, next one. You know, it's mm-hmm. just like we don't. And, and and what ends up happening is they kind of turn into this like. Like, I feel like the attitude of Tinder was around before Tinder. It was like, swipe, swipe, Oh, swipe, 100%. You know? 100%. I agree. Cool. Like, you want to fuck? Okay, whatever. You know, swipe, swipe. Right. And it's it's causing people to, I mean, that's you. just desensitizing us. And it's yeah. Like, I would agree. I would agree 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been <laughs> right. on Tinder. I don't even know what the app looks like. Yeah. I don't either. I don't, I don't know. Either. I really just have Twitter and Instagram. Like, I'm so geriatric. Like, I yeah. just don't <laughs> care. Like, I'm like, should I Snapchat? Like, that's like my daily. You're getting like, old. I've been thinking about it for like 90 days. I'm like, should I be on Snapchat? I don't know. I just Dude, started you know what I mean? learning about it. Like, Dude, that I is. I just do everything just to my like, story. I don't know the private stuff. Or that anything. is so hard. It's such a hard platform to learn. Learn. I'm over here like, it's, like, I'm like I don't know. There's too much. I don't care. Yeah. I'm to MySpace and that's it. I know. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I'm like, thanks, just, Tom. And you made us go. Just <laughs> I don't even do Facebook anymore. I want to go back to the good old days. Uh, I totally agree if it wasn't you. for my career, I wouldn't. If I didn't have to yeah. now, like, I mean, people can get jobs based on numbers just because there's so many ways to get out I there know. now. And mm-hmm. it, it, you know, it lets a studio guarantee that you're going to reach this many people. Right. The exposure there's so many and having yeah. to do hashtags so and you're just like, oh, it's a hu- it's a huge job. Right. Like, yeah. and I don't appreciate it because everyone's fake on it really kind of anyway. Like, I really feel. Yeah. Like it's the representative. Just not- yeah, it's it's really it's something else, it's, man. Yeah, I, it's now, like today. That's what it's all about. I like how she and said it gritty. So She's like, it's quick. now. It's right now. Yeah. It's like, oh, I don't like it. I don't, right. I'm not a fan. Yep. I really am not. I understand. And, you know, it, it's it's crazy how much you need it and how much you hate to need it. I hate and it. And how out of control it is because it's crazy. Mm-hmm. People are literally investing all their time, these, these, these girls that have become explicitly famous on social media. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they become famous. All of their, everything that they put into this, all this work mm-hmm. is completely dependent on a social platform that they don't own. 100%. They don't own the social account. With you. And if yeah. they get shut down or, you know, like, I don't know, someone hacks, they're done. Yeah. Like, your fame or whatever but also right. they carry it into their real life too and they like walk mm. around like with their head hell high you know and what? i'm like you don't walk around with your number stamped on your forehead do you like, know what's like the most ridiculous thing in the world though do you know like people that you know in real life but they portray to be something else but you're like we know you in real life mm-hmm. what do you mean <laughs> like, mm-hmm. what do you mean like, I not, yeah. versus you are the antichrist <laughs> i don't think this is this is what what do you mean yeah it's like you're authentic and they you know, they may hate you the most, and you're like, yeah, yeah, right. And you want to talk about Jesus? Like, yeah. what do you mean? <laughs> right. He doesn't know you, and you don't you know preach. him. What? Yeah, I actually had a girlfriend tell me she had a friend that would put up a picture of a girl, and she saw her Google the girl, cut her off down, and posted it herself as her. And it's like she's wow. like, Cat I just fishing? watched. You. Yeah, she, but she was like, I just. I just saw the you do that. Like, like, are you? I know. I was like, that happens, but it does. I know. But to know somebody who's actually seen it, and then she just walks around like, "Yep, that was me." And it's like, you see this girl with six pack abs, and then I've seen you, and you're not like. Six pack. <laughs> 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 it has like, to be happening a lot. Like, you ain't got no six pack. Oh, for sure, this girl. I'm not. I don't know. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> So let, let's get some. Um, so what are what are your top three things that you like in a guy? <clears throat> what are your top three things that you hate in a guy? Oh my gosh. Top three. Um, respect. 
Okay. Whether it be self-respect or respect for others. Mm-hmm. Um, drive. Drive with success. Um, and to, like, be better yourself. And then um, honesty. I really love brutal honesty. Okay. I've had some crazy brutal honesty. But you know what? I would <laughs> it forces you to grow. Told, I would rather be told the most brutal, honest thing and deal with it accordingly and appropriately and how it should be dealt with as opposed to guessing and not being able to like, like she's my soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> like, we I talked can't. about this last week and uh, that we talked about this and these are like the exact same three answers I gave uh, and I feel like I'm just like, <laughs> oh my Re- God, na- someone na- take her. Yeah, she's so, so amazing. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, so th- I mean, those are, those are my thoughts. Three, because that's what you have to live with at the end of the day is the character. Right. right? Okay. So respect, honesty, and drive, or drive, respect, drive, and honesty. Well, the three is all the same. Yeah. There's, I don't know if there's a hierarchy in them, but okay. Yeah, I mean, they all matter to me. And your hates. And my hates. Um, dependency. (sighs) I'm with bated breath, like she's getting right (laughs) again. There she goes. (laughs) (laughs) Woman crushed every Wednesday. (laughs) I feel it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just not gonna get you. I hate (laughs) that. So okay. Um, dependency. Um, uh, let's see. I mean, I feel like that just sums it all up. I mean, but I could say also like a liar. Like <gasps> I hate liars. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like it's just the opposite of what I like. <laughs> uh, let's see what a, a third. Um, Someone was lazy. Yeah, lazy because no drive. <laughs> it's the same, all the same thing. I'm like, you just invert it. Yeah. 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 Like, she better go ahead. Like, I love yeah, it. She's, is she, they, I mean, that's right. Like, yeah. I mean, seriously, and it's just you got to just love yourself, and I think that's where that all kind of stems from. Mm-hmm. Because you're not right. gonna have drive if you don't love yourself or what you're doing and believe in yourself. Like, you know, all these things. You're not gonna be honest because you're totally guilty all the right. time. Like, it's just it's really about like self-sufficiency and loving yourself that's it really comes down to that all the time the key to getting all women is self-development yeah so true dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so true care about yourself man yeah <laughs> right because no one else can care about you if you don't care no one wants to raise you like so true it's, and you, you have know, a mom just like you don't want to have a female that you have to that's dependent upon you to get everything done mm-hmm. yeah. Do you know what I mean? and sadly yeah. a lot of relationships start under the guise of codependency where a woman right. likes to nurture men they like to nurture everything so true. She oh, gets a guy yeah. and she's always trying to fix him, and but he gets a girl. Cheat. That C word again. <laughs> Those guys always cheat, though. <laughs> they they do. do. Okay, if you really so think about it, they do. I don't know. I see. I when it comes to cheating, like I've never cheated, and anybody oh, I've yeah. ever met that's ever even like talked about it, I've cut out of my life systematically. Mm-hmm. So I I don't know any guys to be like, hey, so what? Did, what did you think when you cheated on her, or what? You know, like I've never been able to. Like it's just yeah. a, it's been you know my mom was cheated on a lot so that was a, a right. kind of a big issue for me. So I when guys are like yeah I did it I'd be like you're fucking married bro and yeah. you know and I'm out of here. Well, it's, um, there you go right, but like you like even in middle school you did that. Like I feel like at some point in your life in you middle had school to I was I was a little overweight I was a little awkward I wasn't even Aww. thinking about that. No, yeah, okay, because I'm like uh, even everyone's do high school. cheated, Jared. <laughs> like everyone cheated. I have not. But I think it was during immature relationships during that period. But now, yes, I totally agree with you. If I heard that now, I'd be like, wow, you should really have your shit together by now. Yeah. But, but, like but my brain works really, really fast. So I'm in, in relationships. You can sense things about me really, really easily. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'll attract that kind of nurturing, you know. But it's like, mm-hmm. and then they start to need it and the dependency. And I'm like, yeah. Go have goals. Go do something. Right. Yeah, yeah. Goals. I want to be it, like. I like your dinosaur arms. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's phenomenal. I, it all goes back to that. Like, uh, I don't know. It, you just sent me in a whole whirlwind right now. It's so yeah. true. Like, yeah. this, like this right now. <laughs> but it's so true. Like, you just have to have your own goals. Like, God. But then I start to resent them for it. And they know it. Right. So the second I get, like, really drunk. It starts to come out, and I'm just like, eh. <laughs> go away. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, my God, you hate me. And I'm like, yes, for about I, six I, weeks now. I kind of do. <laughs> right. You know? Well, you want to cheer something on about the other person. So, but it goes back to, um, you, you know, you need, you need, the proposal they were going you need for. biological compatibility. You need emotional compatibility. And you need lifestyle compatibility. Mm-hmm. Right. So you need all of these different factors in a mate. And it's like, one of the easiest things that you can do is self-development all the way around. It'll, it'll tame everything mm-hmm. right. when you get your lifestyle it'll directly affect your um you know your emotional compatibility and then all you have to worry about is your biological compatibility mm-hmm. okay. whether or not you guys would make good babies I yeah agree. god yeah. Do you, every time you see a dude do you go god i wonder what our baby look like <laughs> every, I, 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 have, I have 
<laughs> not like not every man I see. I, I didn't like, say. Oh no, did I say every time? Yeah, I kind of. Well, pretty, you pretty there much you said, go, folks. Yeah. I didn't mean that. I every said, time. No, I'm like, no, yikes, I didn't. Mean so that. the next <laughs> guy that gets to see Nikki Lee in public, you need to walk up and be like, "So what do we look what like?" Babe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when are you? I really didn't even know I said that. No, I just met sometimes. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. She's like, no. Just Wait, like if you're dating I, someone well, you yeah, like somebody yeah, I mean, and you're just like, you're looking and you're just like, I wonder. But you really don't know because some of the ugliest people make the most beautiful babies and some mm-hmm. of the most beautiful people make the ugliest babies. Yeah. And then you don't know what they're going so, for. But that's interesting though. So that's so that makes the question, because this is a big one, is are women really monogamous? Or are they kind of program more? No, I like, don't think so. Well, it depends you, you are. I Uh-oh. kind of, this is for me, like I would kind of agree. I kind of agree. More. Women are not near as monogamous as we no, portray. Man. Like we, the lies we tell, the, like we're liars. The, <laughs> the, more <laughs> find, the more I find <laughs> out, liars. like the more I have conversation with some girlfriends, I'm just like, how did you pull that off? We're liars. What are you doing? Like, what? We tell me what? <laughs> yes. I don't. I can't. I mean, okay. My, no, I actually did. My brain. I actually did way? put women are liars. Our girls have uh, guys have an ego, and girls lie. Those are the two. Like everything can fundamentally be broken down into that. I right. feel like I feel like the whole we talked about this earlier, the tender swipe me- mentality though. I mm-hmm. feel like that's what's it's trained us to become that way. I feel like it's it's I like think it's women were there way it's changed the game. Too many like options. we're like, all right, yeah. you know what? Options. We feel well, you. And yeah, because the, the dynamic is men go out and they have to hit on women. And that's a dynamic that society accepts right now. Right. Yeah. So women are always just kind of standing there waiting for the next one to come along. Right. Well, if they're constantly being pinged all day, they're not gonna freak out and say so it's like, okay, well that didn't work, mm-hmm. next one up, you know? Yeah, right, that's true. right. Well and divorce is like so easy now and like marriage isn't it's not you know yeah oh, she marries them she gets half after it's like yeah and you it, know. yeah now it's a game now it's all about like self-improvement in that like in a climb to where mm. a girl will be like oh yeah you have money i can do that and then divorce him and then get that it's money very, yeah. and then it's, kanye and it's all, prophesized it, didn't yeah. he <laughs> oh, you. Yeah, oh. I mean, it really, it's, that's why it's so gross. I, I really want, like, a family and, like, my parents aren't divorced or anything. Yeah. And, like, I, so right. I look at that and I still see that as a goal in life. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's not a goal for anybody anymore. Their right. goal is to be good themselves and to have their bank account look in, like, zero, 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 zero. You know? Right. Yeah. yeah. I would have totally agree because yeah. I got married and divorced and mm. I did it because I was too young. It has nothing to do with the right. fact that, because I would agree with you, that would have been one of my goals and what I would like to have seen happen, but I'm married too young. I did things too fast, just like you're saying. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, and I can affirm for you that if I had waited and held out, that I would have probably met the right guy at the right time. Yeah. Well, we just hit well, so many so topics. Instant. Right. Everything is so instant now. Yeah. Like, that's right. why Instagram, like, instant, everything. Like, mm-hmm. you right. know, you get in love and you're like, oh my God, I'm engaged. I'm married. Oh, mm, that didn't work out. Divorce. You know, right. it's like yeah. it, everything is like right now, now, now. No one has patience anymore. It's like patience is a total virtue. And, and it, th- I didn't understand that, you know, patience is a virtue, that whole quote or whatever, a cliche. And, but that is so important. Yeah. And it's something to really understand. And right. it's like this too shall pass. Like everything, you know, yeah. just everything in moderation. It's just very, it's a, it's a gradual climb, guys. Like, you don't well, need to sprint. Yeah. You know? Sure. I think so and through the process of self-development. When you've been through a lot of shit and mm-hmm. you've done this and you've you you have experience with overcoming obstacles and mm-hmm. ascertaining uncertain things, you you do get to a place where it's like you can see that person where their development is right now and be like, OK, well, they're going to get there. So mm-hmm. it, it develops much more leniency and tolerance and kind of like, you know, hey, yeah. And, and you allow people to grow. You step out of the way. Mm-hmm. Right. And so many people with their desire to be right or their desire to interact or whatever it is mess the other person up because they want yeah. you know you they just need to coexist yeah coexist. Right. i see a lot of competition too i feel like if someone oh, yeah. really uh, strong you know what i mean uh, and then they they have no. to change roles like it's maybe so you're successful annoying, yeah. Or he's more successful than you are in acting, and all of a sudden you get one role, mm-hmm. and you become more successful than him, and it's like this role reversal. And then it's like, and what do I do? Right. Yeah. That's, that's that's that game is strong as yeah. well. I feel that's like what I'm saying the whole cheerleader thing. Like you want a right. teammate. You, you want you, someone to lift yeah. you up when you're down. 100%. You want someone to enhance you. Yeah. And you want to be proud of that person. Like it's not a competition. You're supposed to have a relationship as like you know you you survive together. Like right. not as. Oh right. well, he she is in front of me now and winning. Well, there's this is not not a win lose game. We're both yeah. winning because yeah, we're together. We're we should yeah, we're winning. Yeah, I'm I'm and doing well, so don't we're doing well. See that anymore? See, I'm I'm so the opposite when it comes to a male, uh, especially in um, you know that that sense where it's like 
I, I can't stand it when somebody's like lazy or, or, you know, not really doing anything or their goal is to become something yeah, that's you like, like wake up and go to the gym in the morning and you see right. your girl or just like laying there like or even you know, what, hey, all day right. <laughs> like like people that are kind of like they're, they're not out there. They're not ambitious. They're not doing those things. And it's funny because I always used to date older women or not, not older women, but uh, girls who were slightly older than me mm -hmm. and girls who were had slightly more success than me because I love to learn. I was like, oh, yeah, like, that's hard. Know, I need yeah. to learn. Yeah. Teach me what's going on. You know, um, that's something I'm, that's a must have in a relationship for me is learning. Right. I have to mm -hmm. I have to learn from you every day, whether it's something as stupid as like how to peel a banana. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, I just want to learn. <laughs> I just want to grow every day. Well, actually, it's the opposite way. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. there, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right there. I, I think that's that. what we're saying. I think that we're saying that. Unfortunately, a lot of men approach it, you know, with an immature mentality, but you're talking about approaching it with a mature mentality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you see what I'm saying? So I feel like yeah. you're saying like, you're saying the same thing that we are, but we're saying, unfortunately, we've seen a lot of guys who don't look at it that way quite yet. And, and that is what's so, yeah, is what's so sad about it because I feel like if more men looked at it that way, then we would have more successful relationships because that's exactly one of the key things that we need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm writing books for you, <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> and society doesn't help either. Doesn't. Society sucks. It like, doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> like in the point where like I we always blame society right for our problems. Right. Though. Look who we freaking look at and and you know look up to day to day. Look at these girls and like that they're 13, 14, 15. Like look who they're looking up to right now. Like we used to have. Yeah, because at so 13 and 14, their brains are emotionally you know they're, yeah, they're like right. emotional mashed potatoes, yeah. and they see these girls who have absolutely mm -hmm. nothing going on but made it. And are super loved. Mm -hmm. So it's like there's a bit, a vast majority of brainless people in the world. So, of mm -hmm. course, they look up to the brainless people that made it. They're not going to look right. up to the super smart person. They're going to be like, oh, and you're smart. Around. You're really weird. You, you and I talked about this, though. It, it was all publicity that gets yeah, those people. It's all forced yeah. in your face. It's all. Yeah, it's 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 intricately done and so it, that we're, we're yeah. taught to buy it. And I think also so people sad. can't believe that these people are successful. So the, the other ones start talking about them. They're like, how is this person successful? Right. How is this happening? And these other ones are like, oh my God, she's great. Isn't she? It's unfortunate, uh, you know, isn't it? It's, it's you know all I mean? brain, you know. But it's the way we Can work. We always blame society, but it's like oh, society is a product of us and how we interact. 100%, 100%. So, right. But, but I feel like even with so me, hard. like my crushes, like in Hollywood or whatever else, they have to have a lot of like humanitarianism. They have to be, mm -hmm. you know, like they Dave have to Matthews. Like puppies. Yeah, no, yeah. like they have to just <laughs> Dave be great. Yeah, I need them to <laughs> be like zen, chill, like cool, down to earth, artsy kind of people. Like I need them to have a lot of depth to. Like I can't. Mm -hmm. It's not just You'll whomever. Get bored easy now. Right. Like yeah. I feel like I feel like if I'm looking up to someone, face. if if I'm looking up to someone, they have to be like super authentic, or they have to be someone who is interesting and different and unique mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there can't just they can't be that cookie cutter right a lot of people who are attractive to most people i'm not attracted to i'm the same way the i love same her <laughs> can't help it <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's like it's amazing it's like a little echo know, over here it's I, so know, cute. I, love, I, know, I, I was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> you go girl you like the whole thing. oh my goodness <laughs> amazing look what you did <laughs> no, it's great. It's like the uh, I love it. And I'm totally right because in the end, uh, you know, we were talking about this earlier and we can kind of talk about this on the show. But in the future, we're doing um, we're going to be coming out with the second part of this uh, modern female. So uh, look for that this summer, guys. There, there might be some uh, you might see some stuff blip up and. We just invited Nikki to come on and, and kind of help us with that. Yeah, so. That so I think it's going to be really fun. Um, yeah, and just just seeing this, it's like yeah, this this. I was right though. I knew answer. before you showed up. I was like, she's gonna be the one. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, she's 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 gonna come on. And I, I already knew, like, I already had. I was just something I was already planning on offering you, and I knew, like. I was like, she's going to be cool as fuck. Watch. It was really yeah. funny because he texted me earlier today and I was like, wait, who's the guest tonight? So he told me, I was like, she seems dope because I Googled. Mm -hmm. I was like, she seems dope. And he was like, she's dope. And I was like, all right. Yeah. All right. And I walked in. I was like, no, she's dope. Like, it was just a vibe that happened. And like, mm -hmm. her dog jumped in my lap. Like, the Trinity aligned. It was oh, crazy. Yeah, no, he, he <laughs> just owned everybody. He did, he did. He, just, he walks in, he sit on somebody's lap for like five minutes and then he'd walk over to the next person and I sit on their 12 lap. of him. He's adorable. He's a really, really cute dog. I know. He's Right? so easy it's like unreal yeah really you take scary. him everywhere you know i don't which is why he's even more like good mm -hmm. around us is because he's just so thankful to be going out to be out yeah, yeah. i'll be like Wait, you want to go and he'll be like <laughs> and he waits for me because you're I, like you're so basic I have, <laughs> Ugh, come on I, have, I don't like leash him 
because he just stands by my side and literally every corner or something or doorway he'll go and he'll wait for me so it's like a checkpoint i'm like i'm laying his face on the table like hit yeah. me yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah he's just he's a gift honestly okay, precious. He, he's of something else are. Everyone fights to like take him there. Everyone's always like, when are you leaving? So I can like babysit him. Right. Uh, yeah. He's yeah. adorable. I'll join that list. <laughs> I love him. So, um, what, what, if you had a piece of advice, if you had uh, some wisdom to impart to the male demographic in this <laughs> yeah, world, what would you say breath. to guys right now? If you um, had like a, a mission statement or some advice. Oh man. Um, well, it depends if you're going for like a relationship or, you know, just just like if you okay. were going to start a male cult. What would be your slogan? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so I like, think long and hard about these things. Think guys. about think about all the shit that irritates you about guys. And then what would you say in response to that? <laughs> Wait, like, so stop doing this. Or, right. or, or Oh, OK. Um, just. Uh, well, I don't know. The grass ain't always greener on the other side. <laughs> right. Water your own shit. Water your own shit. Like, make it grow. Yeah. What right. does that mean? It's just, I don't know. Cherish what you have. Mm, and, but mm, you know, yeah. work at it. If you're in a relationship, I guess. But other than, well, even on just both work sides. at yourself. Yeah. On both sides. I feel like females, you can do a lot to keep things a mystery. Like you cannot be gross around your men. You can keep things like very date wise. And that mm -hmm. keeps it a little, like, you know what I mean? Keep things like, alive, yeah. Right, like, work at your relationship so right. you don't, you, like, don't you can only give your man away. Yeah. No one can take him. Yeah. And honestly, you know I mean? yeah. honestly, just, just hey girl. self love. <laughs> like, it really, it, it like, it, I, I feel like I'm preaching. But it's like, but it really just it. means a lot. It just means a yeah. lot to be, like, self confident. And don't worry about, just don't worry. If you're so, like, content with yourself and you know that you're doing what you need to do then everything will work out. So don't worry yourself and stress yourself out about right. whoever's doing what, because it doesn't matter. It's your life. Yeah. So just, you know, you're clean up your side seat. of the street. Yeah, yeah. You're in the driver's seat yeah. of what you have going on and make sure. But the realization of that is what is right. the key. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you can just say, yeah, I, yeah, I run my life, this, that, but it's like really being about it and acting upon it. Yeah. You know? Don't just look like a grown up. Be one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what I mean? that's so confusing. It's like looking at a horse. The horse is only two years old, but the thing is full grown. Uh -huh. And you're like, why aren't you smarter? <laughs> <laughs> it's so stressful. It's you're like, strong, oh, mentally you're 14, but you look 30. Damn it. Like, yeah. it's the worst. <laughs> oh, man, you're just full of them tonight, Leah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I love it's it. She gave me chills just now. It's so Woo! fun. <laughs> just nailing it down. So, Leah, what about you? What if you got something to say? To the audience, you always have something to say to the I audience. I mean, I feel like I've talked enough. Yeah, to you. Well, no, no. Hey, if like, it, if it if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So let me right. just keep going. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> write down these cliches. <laughs> well, yeah. this is all on video now, so I like it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just feel like, especially like, look, here's the thing: we're talking to males a lot, but for the females out there who are listening, I feel like it's very important that that you know you realize. Um, a lot of times, you know, we have faults too sometimes, and that's okay. We can address them. We don't have to always be super strong. We can take a stance where we can fall back just a little bit and understand that it's okay to have some growth. Like, that shouldn't be scary. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's one thing women struggle with is having growth issues, being afraid to be, like, told that, hey, look, when a guy says something to you and it's in private and it's because he loves you and he cares about you and he wants you to grow and he notices something that's a negative trait about you, maybe don't take it so personally. Maybe oh, actually try to listen to that and mm. be like, you know what? The only reason he's telling me this is because he loves me and cares about me, not because he wants to hurt my feelings. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that fear that's of so hurting true. people is right. what completely destroys, like you were talking about with brutal honesty and why it works. Let him lead because, you sometimes. Well, what happens is people will, they'll be like, I don't want to hurt this person. So they keep that one thing in and they, it continues to ping inside of them until they finally are like, mm. okay, I have to make a decision. But by that time, they've already, like they're the already, volcano right. about to explode. yeah. And they it's go, Hey, right. here, here's this little part of this. Here's this little, right. and, and I'm going to, I'm going to say it in a really nice way. And then he disregards it or she disregards right. mm -hmm. it. And you're like, how do I go about telling them this is a deal breaker? It's been a deal breaker for like six months now. And I'm really right. struggling to communicate to it to you and people but just like, kind yeah. of like they shrug it off and they continue to move forward in the way that they were doing it no, and it's like you have to address they it. think if she didn't mention it from the beginning it must not matter this is a shitty box example mm. and guys go around they build a <laughs> shitty box they hand it to a girl the girl takes the box they get the girl out of persistence 
Yeah. She still wants to clean the box up. She wants to remove the nails. Mm-hmm. She wants Don't to paint it. Don't take the box in the first place. Then. Right. Yeah. And and exactly, women <laughs> need to stop taking the some box. There things like you and, know, you guys have the like, 20 rule yeah. is a real thing. Like that's real life. You real know life. What I mean, that's that's legit. Like you're not gonna get someone who's gonna be 100 what you want. No, you're yeah, have no. and you don't rule. want somebody 100. So you may you have like with them as they just take the nails out the box, but it has nails and shit. Don't date the box. But guys get all resistant because they're over here like. Well, I built the box. You took the box. So it must not matter. I'm giving it's you the so box true, back. Yeah. Girls, like girls and guys, like you just have to see how the person is from the beginning because they're telling you everything from the beginning. And you're just right. like, you know, love is blind. And you're like, oh, if you see red flags, whatever, take them. Totally be aware. Right. Yeah. Totally be aware. Yeah. And as and, a dating coach, I've become so much more selective. Like when it comes right. down to it, it's like I'm, I'm sitting here because I'm helping people. Uh, fix their relationships become more compatible so it's like i meet a girl and all of a sudden i'm like yeah ping ping nope uh, like i already know that there's mm-hmm. okay this is just not gonna Same work thing. people right. are like why are you still single i'm like because i'm very very good at evaluating compatibility yeah well, it's like if i'm not really into you or I, and and i don't think if i'm not really into you and i also don't know 100 percent that it can work mm-hmm. in both capacities like i know this will work and i'm super attracted to you i won't even go for it it's like why Plus, you're comfortable being yourself. Like, you don't have to have someone just right now. Like, nah. why do you? <laughs> yeah. Like, that sounds yeah. like codependency on that person. So, I mean, yeah. like, we come back to codependency And again. I think a lot of guys come from a place where they're like, oh, well, this could be the one. Right. Or I need to go out because I could meet this girl. I could right. meet a girl. Um, and they kind of operate from the scarcity mindset. It'll and it's come. like, I'm over here like, nah, so that shit will fall right in my that, lap. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, once you are, like, super content with yourself, the universe will give you what you need. Mm-hmm. And security is such a loud communicator. Like, it's so, it's just it's <laughs> a mega blast as a volume. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Like, Very if, true. And, like, I feel like if I sniff that out even a little bit, I'd be like, hey, eh, mm, mm. I, listen, we got to have a conversation. Like, and that's right. good yeah. that you yeah. even have a conversation because, like right. you're saying, like, a lot of people just let it pent up, pent up, and then it's, like, explodes, yeah. and there's no going back. That person's no, kind of already made that have decision. Have a conversation, have yeah. angry sex after, and just let it go. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what a relationship is about. You just have to, you yeah. have to go there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Yeah, I it's love cool. Again, growth is a beautiful thing. Just don't put them on mega blast because if you wait, you'll do it when you're in public and you'll embarrass them and it'll be crazy mm-hmm. and that's immaturity. Exactly. Yeah. So, Nikki, uh, we're about to wrap this up. Um, where can people find you? Anything you got to promote? Oh, yay. Um, I, no, just myself. <laughs> just like, no, just because I don't know what I'm allowed or whatnot, but it's okay. If you find my Stay social media. In. Yeah, if you find my social media, you'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, IG is Miss Nikki Lee. Uh, Lee's L-E-I-G-H. Nikki like Nikki Minaj, I guess. Hello. Uh, mm-hmm. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, same with Facebook. It's all Nikki Lee. Uh, Twitter's Nikki cool. Lee XO. But yeah, if you find one, then they all say the other. So I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. You go, girl. Your turn. Oh, hey. Uh, it's Instagram and Twitter. It's Leah Pelka. L-E-A-H-P-E-L-K-A. I'm sorry I chewed gum tonight, by the way, guys. Uh, yeah. No, it's okay. I'm kind of not sorry. Cause I'm kind of jealous, actually. Well, I know. Yeah. So I I'm not <laughs> like, sorry. It's delicious. I tried to like... <laughs> It survived this. Whole it was incredible. <laughs> like, <laughs> I want to know the, the whole time gum I was meant to girl. fresh. Like the whole it's time. Got that good stuff. The whole week. <laughs> Uh, cool guys and you can find me at Mail Methodology on Twitter Modern Not Mail on Instagram and ModernMailInc.com slash radio if you're watching this on YouTube please subscribe and if you're watching this anywhere else leave comments say hi what's up send me an email <laughs> just uh, tell me, tell us what you thought of the show um, thanks for coming on the show guys thank you and thank you for tuning in to Modern Mail Radio <laughs> you're listening to Modern Mail Radio with Jared Zavistoski right here on LA Talk Radio.